built in there? It's maybe for others to judge, but um, I think the first 15 minutes we were difficult for us. Um, uh, the other team, uh, Wolves, had a week to prepare, and if you have a very good manager like Gary O'Neill, who's tactically really strong, he comes up with a really good game plan, and that's what he did. We were ready for this. You always have to wait what he then exactly does, but uh, he overloaded our right side uh, in, a, in a good manner, which made it difficult for us to control the game in the first 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, then when it lied down a bit, the energy went away uh, maybe a bit, then I think we took more and more control over the game. And for me, it wasn't a surprise the moment we scored a goal, but I think because I thought that in those moments we were getting better and better, we got a big chance with Dominic Sobberslai. And I was almost surprised that we conceded the second half because I felt that in the second half we had much more control than in the first half. But yeah, we conceded a, a goal that was avoidable, let's put it that way. Top, top of the league after, after six games, I mean, it's a great start for you. I mean, did you expect to, to be top so early on? Yeah, but I've, uh, it's, it's almost ideal that we play Wolves today because we are top, they are last. And they absolutely didn't don't deserve to be last because they had a very difficult fixture list and I've seen many games of them and they did in almost every game they deserved more and you could even argue today because it wasn't like we were so much better than them they were in the game doing a lot of good things so they will if they keep doing this against other teams as well they will never end up number 20 and we still have to prove if we come across against Arsenal Newcastle Chelsea which other fixture they had, uh, Aston Villa, if we can then still be up there with Champions League games included as well. Mike? Does it give a, a psychological lift to yourself, players around the club, when you are top rather than chasing? Mm, I, I think everybody is realistic enough. Uh, all the players have, 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 have so much experience that they understand that in six games into the season doesn't give you a realistic view on the league table that is more like in 19 games then you can really feel okay where are we um, but of course it helps uh, if if you get some good results especially if you bring in a new manager and a new staff uh, and being a successor of such a successful one and then of course everybody understands that if we would have lost four or five out of these first six fixtures that uh, life would have been a bit different than it is now I don't expect this to be a big problem, although you never know, but I think we just got a knock and the uh, end phase of the game. Maybe he was a bit tired as well, because um, uh, the, the, the guy who came in, Forbes, uh, I knew him of course from the Dutch competition, he, uh, he made it uh, a real fight for him as well. Uh, so um, yeah, got a bit of a knock, but I'm expecting him to be in training Monday again, but let's wait. If it stays this way, I don't have to keep them level-headed. <laughs> but to keep it that way, that's probably what you mean. Uh, I don't think it's necessary for me to convince the players what all, all the, um, the challenges we still face. So I've said it a few times now uh, in, in, in different press moments today. Two years ago was the last time we played Champions League. And we all know what kind of a season that was. And, that, and last season we had much better season. But then every time Virgil and all these other players got some rest during the week and could play once a week. So that's a completely different situation than play Champions League during the week against a very tough and hard opponent and then play Arsenal and then play Arsenal Villa and then play all these uh, top teams that we are going to face um, in, after the next international break. So for us there's still, I've said it many times, a lot to prove, especially if you look back at the season two years ago. And it's still almost completely the same group. Thank you everyone.